Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, Miko and Hiromi were asking me which types of boobs or boob sizes do I like. So, I answered them with a long, long paragraph which kind of dodged the question. And then they were planning something for the cultural festival. And then we are here, right in class. Things are really moving fast now. Well, I mean, if they're competing to be affectionate towards um, me, then yeah, it's going to be a competition. So things are going to move super duper fast. <laughs> it's already time for exams. Oh, oh, that, that's what you meant by, by moving really fast. Oh, okay. But I can't say that I'm happy now that I'm here. What? Despite Hiromi's and Miko's best efforts, I still can't get over this apathy I have towards study. Oh, okay. I was composed for a second and now I'm not. I barely put any effort into studying the material. The swim club has been the only thing which I really cared about at all. And Miko and Hiromi. This may very well end up being a problem for me. Yeah, a bit if you know you, you don't do well. Oh well, it'll be just like the rest of my exams, right? No, because now you got two girlfriends who will beat you down. I should be able to pass with the bare minimum. Oh, that's the spirit. Pass with the bare minimum. When I look down at the paper, I can feel sweat going down my forehead. Oh wait, it's exam day? Oh no, no, oh no, I'm not ready. Just get it over with. That's all I have to do. Everything will be fine. Hmm. The cultural festival is on after this. After the exam? Oh man, that's, that's really tough. You're thinking about the cultural festival and then you're taking the exam. You're like, oh dang it, I forgot everything now. <laughs> so, all I have to do is pass. Apparently with the bare minimum, which I think is a 60. I can do that, right? Of course I can. I can definitely get a 60. <laughs> As I finish my exam, relief washes over me. Why? Did you do well? Did you pass? I think I did okay. All things considering. Oh, that's, that's not a good answer. Oh. My teacher passes by me to collect my exam. I hope that your studies have paid off, Kato. I'm sure they have. Uh, kind of. There's something in his eye which makes me worry, though. Oh no, did he already correct my exam just with his eye? His eyes. I cannot shake this feeling of dread I have. What if I'm not going to pass this time? Oh, how would my dad react to that? Actually, I don't know how my dad would react to that. I mean, he'd probably just call me a failure. He'd probably put me down a lot. Oh, that'd be horrible. Ugh. No. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got to stop being cynical. Yeah, that's the spirit. Kata, you can do it. I'm going to stay at this school with Hiromi and Miko. Yeah, that's the spirit. I'm going to keep swimming and become the best athlete in the school. And then maybe later on an Olympian, but, but right now, for the school. But for now, I should just leave. Outside, there's two people waiting for me. Who? Who could be waiting for me? Oh. Oh yeah. I knew that. Hello, Kata. How do you think you did in the exam? Right. They must be really worried about me. To pass the exam. They did take 
far shorter to finish it than I did. I think I did fine. Don't worry about it. But sometimes finishing fast doesn't mean you got all the answers right. So that means we have nothing to worry about. Uh, yes. Nothing to worry about. I passed, I think. We better not. After what happened with our study session, I want to accept that you did anything less than your best. I did. Really. I did. Oh. I'm reassuring them, but I don't think they're taking the bait. I don't know how well I actually did. Yeah. My apathy towards study was especially strong this time. Well, I mean, you are taking an exam. I think anyone's apathy would be strong. Ada, are you sure you did fine? Uh, really? I'm sure. You don't sound certain about that. If you failed this exam, I will never forgive you. Aw, oh, that's harsh. You know I don't like studying. Uh, I did try my best though. That's because it just pains me to see you keep failing, not because I'm worried about you. Aw. I get it. I get it. I'm sure it's fine, so let's not worry about it. Neither of them seem convinced of that. Yeah, because I wasn't very strong with my words when I said that I passed. VOC, for your sake, I hope that you did fine. After all, we did try our best to help you study. Well, Hiromi did better at helping me study than Miko did because she was in her underwear and pushing her boobs against me. C -c can we forget about that, please? Forget about what, Kata? We're right. Nothing happened, so therefore we can't remember it. What? <laughs> That's right. I don't even know what we are talking about. Though, we're all laughing. I can't shake this feeling that something is going to go wrong. Aw, oh, that's the worst feeling, that you're feeling something is going to go wrong. Aw, oh, dagnabbit. Hmm. Not much I can do about it now. Keep, keep lying to myself, or tell me not much I can do about it now. And just let it pass. Did this. Second one. Oh well, I did what I could. It should be fine. Everything will be fine. Hmm. I hope so. Hope everything will be fine. If not then it's Oh. That'd be that'd be bad. The cultural festival. It's finally here. After a few weeks of nothing of note happening, Miko and Hiromi burst into my apartment at the crack of dawn. Aw, oh, jeez, crack of dawn. So early, and insisted that they had to make sure I was going. Now I'm here and I'm being dragged from stall to stall. Miko has been buying as much cheap takoyaki as she can. But she did say she wanted to eat lots of food. I need more takoyaki. More, give me more. Calm down, Miko. But Kata, I need more. Hiromi seems more interested by the craft stalls and other small things. She eyes a small bracelet and picks it up. What do you think of this, Kata? It's just a bunch of plastic beads stringed through a small strip of leather. It doesn't look bad for what it is, though. Are you thinking about buying it? It looks kind of neat. Maybe. It looks nice to me. But I wanted to get your opinion first. Kata, my stomach hurts. You ate too much takoyaki, didn't you? But, but it was cheap and delicious. Oh, now you got a tummy ache. I, I'm going to the nurse's office. She wanders off slowly, clutching her stomach. Gromi just shakes her head as she walks off. Aww. Is she going to be okay? She'll be fine, Kata. She does this at every cultural festival. 
Always too much takoyaki. Always the inevitable upset stomach. And always the visit to the nurse's office. But it makes her happy, so she'll do it every single time. Aw, at least it makes her happy. Making her stomach upset makes her happy? I think it's, I think it's before the upset stomach. Okay, that's the, the eating part. That doesn't... That doesn't, but the cheap takoyaki does. Each is to their own, I guess. But what is it you like about the cultural festival? Seeing the new stands that people come up with every year. It's nice to spend time with friends here too. Aw, spending time with friends is always wonderful. I never thought that I'd be spending it with someone other than Miko this year. Miko storms back through the crowd. My stomach, my stomach stopped hurting. You, you made a fairly miraculous recovery. Hiromi just laughs at that. Come on, Keda, let's go to the fortune teller. But I have my own tarot. Who cares about that? Oh, they know? We didn't I show I showed the video game. This is the cultural festival. We're here to have fun. So shut up and come with me. He seizes me by the hand and begins pulling me through the crowd. Wait, I just remembered. Don't forget our surprise for Keda. It's almost time. Miko's face turns bright red when she hears that. What surprise? Surprise for me. The, so embarrassing. The fortune teller will have to wait for later. Come on, come to the swimming pool, Keda. We'll be waiting for you. The tone of her voice is very... How do I put it? What does she have planned? Hmm. Miko looks like she's about to faint. Hiromi grabs her by the arm and drags her off. W wait, I need to think about this. We already bought the outfit. It's too late now. Despite her protests, Miko doesn't put much, put up much resistance. Hmm, what surprise is this? And what did she mean by outfit? I guess I'd better wait a few minutes before I turn up to the pool. Hmm, what's gonna happen at the pool? Like usual, the pool is completely abandoned. You'd think this place was haunted given how people avoid it. Maybe that's why people don't want to come too. Hello? Are you two here? Nothing. Dead silence. Surely they would have arrived here by now. Oh, Kada. You arrived at just the right moment. Right moment? For what? Oh. This, this is the right moment. Oh. Hiromi's standing just outside of the changing room. What she's wearing consists of little more than a few well-placed straps. Yep. Barely enough to conceal anything. Her chest. The straps all are already too tight. They're nearly spilling around it. A few elaborate bands are placed on her legs too. Oh, how fancy. It's all very interesting. I'm not sure if I should be looking at her or if I should look away. She looks towards me with a mischievous grin. What do you think, Kada? Is it not a nice swimsuit? I spent a very long time picking it out just for you. Really? That, that's very, very nice. And nice on your body. Nice. He couldn't possibly lean any further forward at the moment. Gently, she sways back and forth. I, I do agree that it's a nice swimsuit. Oh, tell me, what do you like about it? Please don't leave out any details. I, I guess it has a nice color. My, my vague answer does nothing to deter her. Anything else? Anything at all? It's obvious what she really wants me to comment on. But I just don't want to say anything about it. Give me her boobies, Kata! She seems to notice the struggle I'm having with myself. Come on, I know you want to say it. You're admiring something, aren't you? Y yes Change the topic. That's all I can do. Whoa, whoa, why are you still wearing that collar of yours? Oh, yeah. I was wondering about that too. Why not? I 
feel it's part of my style. Looks like this swimsuit is. A devious little smile forms on her face as she leans back. All of this is me. You like it, don't you? I, I won't say that I dislike it. Good enough. Considering that it's you saying that, I know what you're really thinking though. Why, why does my opinion about it matter so much? Because this is a competition. A competition? Who is she competing? Oh. And we'll find out in the next episode, everybody. What? what Nico looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll find out more in the next episode of of um, what Miko looks like. So everyone if you guys enjoyed this episode then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!